Today, Germany is marking one of the worst xenophobic attacks in its post-war history. 30 years ago, a far-right mob gathered in the eastern German city of Rostock and attacked a housing complex for asylum seekers and immigrants. German President Frank-Walter Steinmeier attended a commemoration ceremony outside the building known as the Sunflower House. In 1992, it was the focal point of days of racist rioting. The president said it was now a memorial to days of shame. A violent welcome for those who sought safety. On the 22nd of August 1992, a far-right mob gathers in the East German city of Rostock and attacks a housing complex for asylum seekers and immigrants. Police are overwhelmed. Water cannons arrive late. An officer remembers. None of us had experienced this kind of criminal energy before. Everybody was surprised. It was crazy. Over the next few days, neo-Nazi from all over Germany arrived at the now infamous building with the Sunflower mural and take out their xenophobic hatred on the Sinti, Roma and Vietnamese people living there. Thousands of onlookers applaud and hinder the work of emergency services and police. The situation escalates. Right-wing extremists throw Molotov cocktails at a building that houses 120 Vietnamese immigrants. They manage to escape onto the roof unnoticed, including Tin Nguyen Do and Wolfgang Richter, the city's commissioner for foreigners. We were afraid they'd see us and come onto the roof. We really didn't want to meet them there. No, then people would have died. As if by a miracle, no lives were lost in the five days of violence. Thirty years on, the infamous Rostock riots live on as a shameful part of Germany's history. And still today, two asylum seekers a day are the victim of far-right attacks. Let's bring in DW correspondent Hans Brandt. He's at the commemoration ceremony. What message is President Steinmeier trying to send by being in Rostock today? Well, in German history, obviously, racist mobs, racist attacks uh, signify Nazi Germany, signify uh, a very dark period in German history. And so the uh, attempt or the uh, endeavor that this kind of thing should not happen again in Germany uh, is something that the German government and the, uh, Frank Walter Steinmeier, the German president, uh, emphasize again and again. And it's something that he said again today uh, when laying down flowers at the house next to me here, which was in flames 30 years ago. Um, at the same time, there is a, a lot more focus now than there was 30 years ago on the victims, uh, because at the time, the victims were basically uh, safe from the situation. There was, uh, surprisingly, nobody really seriously injured. There were no deaths or uh, serious injuries. Uh, but the victims were basically ignored for decades uh, after this event. And now uh, people are saying the victims should be uh, listened to, their, um, uh, their voice should be heard. Uh, that is something that Frank Walter Steinmeier, the president, also did today by talking to some uh, of the people who were affected by this 30 years ago. And the mayor has called for the memories of the riots to be kept alive. Uh, tell us what the city of Rostock is actually doing to mark the day. The major initiative today has been to declare this building behind me a national monument. In other words, it's not allowed to be uh, changed uh, in its uh, substantial uh, look uh, in any substantial manner from now on. Uh, it's meant to be, in other words, the building itself is meant to be a reminder, a monument, a, uh, a, a sign uh, for what happened here 30 years ago. Um, the city has attempted in the past to, to put up smaller monuments rather in hidden spaces and they have not really made much of an impact. There's also an attempt to uh, found community centers where people can meet each other, where the integration uh, of foreigners into this society is promoted. Uh, but one has to say, when the flower laying ceremony took place here earlier today, the interest from the public was really meager. There were no fewer, than, uh, not, not more than a couple of dozen people attending this. Uh, so the feeling here is, I think, uh, if you speak to people, uh, that they're 
they're not really very much interested in this history still today. But, but Hans, is it an issue still today? I mean, the Chancellor's called on all German citizens to stand up against hate and racism. Yes, indeed it is. Uh, the number of uh, racist attacks from the right uh, in Germany uh, has been very high in recent years. And since this happened 30 years ago, there have been several murders. There have been underground uh, neo-Nazi groups that have committed uh, racist murders. And in fact, even here in the city of Rostock, it's a, it's a very current problem. Uh, there is a local football club, uh, the fans of which are basically... Uh, neo-Nazis and right-wingers. And just this past weekend, uh, just a couple of kilometers from here in the stadium, there was a game of this football club and the fans again raised racist banners in the stadium. So it's something that is very current even today. Hans Brandt, thank you very much for covering those events for us in Rostock.